Psalm 50, verses 23 through 23 says, Now consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you in pieces, and there will be none to deliver. He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, and to him who orders his way right, I shall show the salvation of God. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this six-month reading plan through the book of Psalms, Today's reading is Psalm 50, verses 10 through 23, and I encourage you to read that section. Now, Asaph now orders this psalm into two sections, verses 10 through 15 and verses 16 through 23. And they both end with the same statements that we are to offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and a payment of our vows. We will be rescued. The book of Hebrews mirrors this psalm in the first ten and a half chapters with the theme that Jesus is a better sacrifice. We cannot offer anything to God because we don't own anything. It is God who created the earth. It is God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills. It is God who owns everything. In our attempt to give something back to him, we are denying that fact that he is the owner and the creator. The only thing that we can offer him is that of thanksgiving. We are to be thankful for what he has provided to us, and we are to be thankful and grateful for our lives and the blessings that he gives us. Now, if we make a vow to him, it is because of our thankfulness, not because we feel we must pay him back for something that he has done. Repentance means to change your mind. You change your focus from what it was to what it should be. Essentially, you are turning to meet God. Repentance is not trying to stop what you are doing. That is a negative view and not correct. You can only repent by turning to God. The result will be that you turn from sin, but you are actually repenting by turning to something. But what exactly is penance? Where does that come into play? First, if you believe that penance makes up for something that you have done, then you are trusting on some kind of work to make you righteous and you're ignoring the fact of faith and grace, Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. So penance cannot be something that brings you into the graces of God. Therefore, we must view penance in a different way. Penance is the result of repentance. By changing your mind, you become more like God, not in the sense of eternal or having his attributes, but in the sense that you are thinking more like God. 2 Peter 1, verses 3 and 4 tells us that God has given us everything that we need to participate in his divine nature. That participation is our penance, so to speak. Penance does not save or change our lives. That is the job of repentance. Penance allows us to focus on who God is and how we should order our lives. That's what Asaph says in verse 23 of today's psalm. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.